This is a review of the Nikon 100-600 telephoto lens. I reviewed this lens on both the Z8 and Z9 cameras. Now I pre-ordered this lens with my own hard-earned cash when it was first announced. I've never pre-ordered a lens before but I was super keen to upgrade from my current setup. I was using a Nikon 200-500 lens. Now I love this lens. I'm emotionally attached to it. I've travelled many places with it, shot heaps of things with it. I even shot the total solar eclipse from this year with it. But it is a real pain to travel with. It's heavy and cumbersome, plus it is a previous generation technology. It still takes great pictures, but I wanted something less bulky and also a native Z-mount telephoto lens. So that meant no more messing about with the FTZ adapter. Now the 180-600 is 316mm long. Compared to the 200-500, it is 267mm long. And when fully zoomed, it is 393mm. When speaking about zooming, the 180-600 is all internal, which is just fantastic. The zoom ring feels really responsive and doesn't take much to go from 180 to 600, which is great when photographing fast moving subjects. The focus ring is a bit more sticky up but feels quite precise when turned. There are also three function buttons that can be customised. For buttons, the 180 to 600 only has focus and focus limiter switches. The tripod collar is easily movable but I wish it had grooves in it to know that you're in a good spot for portrait or vertical shooting. The 180 to 600 weighs in at 2.1 kilograms and compared to the 200 to 500 sits at 2.3 kilograms. Like the 200 to 500, the lens is also weather sealed and takes 95mm filters. Focusing is what you'd expect. It's quick, sticky and tracks really well. What I really like about this lens is that it doesn't hunt and breathe about looking for its subject. It's either in focus or out of focus. No pulsing or anything like that. Sharpness, well, considering it is a Nikon Z lens, it is what you think. Images are tack sharp at all focal lengths. I'm amazed at how sharp these images are, even at 600. Just fantastic stuff. Bokeh looks nice and quite smooth and tasty. Now this is all good to talk about specs, but let's go out into the field to give this lens a really good thrashing. I am on the mud flats today. It's a place where I put a lot of my new telephoto lenses and cameras to the test because it is very, uh, it's, it's a difficult location to shoot. There's a lot of background noise, it's very cluttered. There's islands over here, there's boats, channel markers, so it really distracts from the focus uh, of a small, fast moving subject as these birds land on the mud flats. Now, I have been. Uh, Coming out here the last few weeks because one of my favourite birds, the migratory shorebird, the Far Eastern Curlew, have arrived for their summer of feeding. So this is a bird that flies from the Northern Hemisphere to the Southern Hemisphere non-stop. They're not seabirds so they can't land in the water. If they land in the water, they're going to drown. So these birds fly one way non-stop. So in the Northern Hemisphere is their breeding grounds, in the Southern Hemisphere is their feeding grounds. So as at uh, time of shooting now, it is early October, so they are just returning from their epic voyage. And uh, all these birds are returning very gaunt, very exhausted and very haggard, because all of their energy goes into their wing muscles. So that means that all their feathers fall out, all their body fat disappears and they get very gaunt when they arrive. Like all shorebirds, they're very skittish. So if I start moving around or come closer, they're gonna take fright. And I don't really want them to do that because they have been flying for the last week. Uh, so I like to come in three hours before high tide, get set up, let them get comfortable with me, and uh, I wait for them to arrive. Usually there's one bird that arrives first and then all the others, they all arrive at the same time. Because they are so skittish, I need a lens that has a long reach, like the 180 to 600. Now, I'm mostly shooting at 600 here because there's no way I can get close to these birds. This lens allows me to get great, sharp images from a distance without startling the subject. And, you know, it's got a couple of bonuses that really uh, warm my heart. The internal zooming, I mean, this is a game changer, especially out on salty sea air areas like this without exposing anything internal. I know other telephotos are all sealed and all that things, but an internal zoom here is hands down one of the big changes that I 
absolutely love about this lens. It's light as well, you know, walking across mud isn't the greatest thing. And with all the crap that I bring here with cameras and binoculars and tripods and chairs, something light like this lens is really a godsend going across terrain like this. Okay, we've got some uh, birds on the horizon here. They are a long, long way away. Okay, they're coming in low and they're coming in hot. They look like, yeah, curlews. This has the shape of a curlew. Constantly flapping here. What an entrance. What an entrance, eh? Someone just brought their dog down here, so they're all scattering all these birds out. Shame there's no uh, off sprays around them. Take that dog and uh, have a little meal out of it. A bit of brunch. Okay, we've got uh, a big line of birds coming up here. They're probably godwits. We got a couple of breakaways. Incredible to see them. Good to see so many. I may have to move soon. Got some tide, tide water coming in behind me. I don't really want to be cut off and wading through water with camera equipment. I think it's time to go. I was just halfway through shooting and editing this video when the new Nikon Z9 4.10 firmware was released. This update added improved bird subject detection autofocus, so I thought I'd go back out onto the mudflats and put this lens through its paces. Again. Alright, back down on the mudflats today with the Z9, obviously. Uh, it is early morning, it is 5am in the morning, the sun is just beginning to rise. No birds here yet, I think I got there before them, which is good. Uh, but uh, I'm interested to see how this lens and the Z9 go together with this updated firmware and this lens. Look, I think it's going to be a, just a fantastic setup and I'm not worried about it whatsoever. I, I honestly think it's going to be... 100% hit rate. We'll see how that goes. But uh, it's a little bit breezy down here. We've got a strong northerly. It's still a little bit crisp temperature wise. But uh, look, it's going to be uh, it's a beautiful morning already. And I can't wait to when the birds start arriving. So but we'll see. I just woke up five minutes ago. So I'm kind of, uh, I'm not really with it at this stage. Got some cormorants. In the distance there. Usually it's cormorants and then curlews. So when the cormorants are here, the curlews will arrive in the next five, ten minutes. I think we got some more cormorants on the horizon here. Exciting. It's exciting. I've got a moth hanging around. First couple of shots with this setup so far, as you'd expect, locked on. No breathing, no hunting, sticky, seamless. Combination of this lens and the Z9's new firmware, mm, tremendous. Absolutely beautiful. Sun is coming up now. What a way to start the day, eh? What a way to start the day. Let's get a photo of that, I think. That's beautiful. It's too, too glorious to pass up. Uh, too long here, okay. That absolutely beautiful. Oh, something startled the curlies. One of them are off.
Okay, we have a curlew. Curlew has just arrived, but they're not landing where I want them to go, so. I'll just take a note of where this guy's gone. Where's he going? He's off. He's off to the other feeding grounds. I don't know where they are this morning. I'm going to swing around and take a photo of these turns here. Um, just a bit of focus there. Probably more my fault than anything else. But uh, that curlew saw one flew over. It took off. Did a U-turn and then came back. Hang on, I just heard a little squawk here. Jeez, I don't know, I think there's one right here. There we go, lovely. Got some godwits have just arrived. Oh, hang on, we got a curlew. Come on, son. There we go. Oh, what an entrance. Tremendous. Okay, now they're coming in and I have to move. Oh, we got a runner. We got a runner here. This lens is. Probably the greatest telephoto lens I've used. Ah, I'm in love, I'm smitten. I'm in deep smit with this lens. Incredible. So there you go, the Nikon 180-600, a worthy predecessor to my beloved 200-500. to The 180-600 to is a lens that isn't heavy, has more reach, and is fantastic optically. It's sharp at all focal lengths with amazingly sticky autofocus. Oh, did I mention the internal zooming? This is a beast of a lens and I highly, highly, highly recommend it. If you can find one. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time. Cheers. If you'd like to learn more about the Far Eastern Curlew, please have a click here.